All right, hey guys, so it's that time of the year where it's time to clean the canister filter on this aquarium. You can probably see a whole bunch of junk in the background, my window, my laptop. Anyway, main purpose of this video, I'm going to be teaching you how I clean my canister filter. Let's All go. right, so we're down here in the belly of the beast, right below the aquarium, inside the stand, we have our fluval canister filter. And this actually was a good time for me to also clean out all the junk I had in my aquarium stand. All these chemicals. And also, I didn't know until now, I apparently hoard aquarium nets. I have like 10 of these. And I also apparently hoard fish food. I have like 15 different types of fish food. Good time to clean that out. But time for the real start of the show, this canister filter. We're going to start by lifting up the Aquastop valve unplugging the filter and bringing it forward and then I'll talk a little bit and bring it in the back. Alright, here's my aquarium filter and I like to clean this thing about twice a year, basically every six months. My aquarium's not super overstocked and I find it really doesn't get that dirty. It's rated for a 70 gallon tank on this 36 gallon tank so it's really perfect. And now it's off the tank. I'm gonna go ahead take you to my bathroom. That's where I do the cleaning in my bathtub. The only thing you need for this project basically is the filter and some aquarium water or just dechlorinated water. That's what we're gonna use to rinse out the media. So I'll meet you in the bathroom. And here we are. So we have the filter and we have dechlorinated aquarium water. Also, while you're at it, I'd highly recommend grabbing some Q-tips to clean the impeller of the filter. We're going to start by opening the lid. Some people drain their filter first. I leave mine full and just pop open the lid like so. We'll just push down these two tabs. Every canister is different. Yours might open differently. Drain the water out of the lid. And then we're going to set the lid aside for now. We will need it soon. Most canister filters, the motor is in the lid. So that's kind of what I'm going to be going off of. Fluval filters are built a bit different than others. They're built with foam on the side and these media baskets, while others are just media baskets. So I'm gonna start by cleaning my foam. It's just right here. There's four foam blocks. Just take these out. Throw them in my water. Switch that piece of plastic around. Set that aside. Now we're going to go ahead and give these a good squish in the dechlorinated water and then we'll move on to the media. Alright, so I've gone ahead and cleaned out the sponges. Now we're going to come back over here to our main compartments. We're going to take this lid off, set that aside. Bio rings, rinse these. Once again, dechlorinated aquarium water or just dechlorinated water in general. Set those aside. More bio rings, which these two trays like to stick together so they'll probably come out as one. See if I can pull these two apart. Go ahead and set this to the side now that we have all the trays out. There we go ahead and pop those out. We have more bio rings. Go ahead and rinse those out. And then we have the fluval biofoam, basically fine filtration. We're gonna go ahead and rinse those in the water. Then we'll clean the impeller, start putting the filter back together. All right, this stuff's all clean. Now we'll work on this part. So for fluval, you push these two tabs this pops off, there goes that. This, you really don't have to clean. In here, I like to take the impeller out and then I like to run a Q-tip down in here just to remove any junk on the shaft or anything. Go ahead and clean that up. Same thing with the impeller. Then we'll just go ahead and put it back together. Be careful not to break this shaft as it is a ceramic shaft and it does snap easily and then you're out of filter if you snap it. 
Go ahead and place this back on, wrong way. Now, we're gonna start putting everything back together. Some people empty this water out. I just keep it, it's not dirty. Then, we're gonna start with our bottom basket. I'm gonna get the biofoam. Right here, I'm gonna put both halves in like so that will go on the bottom all the way down next is going to be a tray of bio rings also under these bio rings i do have dollar store little pot scrubbers the little blue thing down there hard to see but basically our biological media slide that down like to tap the canister, get any air out. Another thing of bio rings. Our lid. Then last but not least, our four things of foam. Now that our foam is all done, just gonna go ahead, slide this right inside our filter, like so. Also, while you're at this, you can also go ahead and take Vaseline and put it around the O-ring of your canister filter. I don't do it very often, but sometimes I will. Now I'm just gonna dry the canister body off, and then we're gonna go ahead and put the top on, go back to the stand and hook it back up. All right, it's time to hook it back up. Now, a mistake I've made before is I've actually plugged in the canister filter before I put the valve on. Water splashed everywhere. Don't do that. So we're gonna take the Aquastop valve or whatever canister filter valve you have. We're gonna go ahead and plug it in. Then we're gonna close both valves. Now water's flowing into the canister. If your canister has a priming thing like this one, you can go ahead and do that now. You can hear the canister is filling. Air has stopped coming out of the return pipe, so now we can plug the filter. Just plugged it in, as you can hear. We look up in the display, spraying stuff everywhere. Canister filters always do that after, because there's junk left in the hose. As you can see, junk left in the hose, like I said, it's all over the tank. The filter's still kind of priming, so that's pretty much a wrap. Your tank will obviously clear up and an hour or so and yeah that's it for how to clean a cancer filter don't forget to like comment down below any other video ideas and subscribe thanks for watching goodbye